welcome back to our course database management system so in the previous video we discussed about the numericals based on join operation so we understand how to solve the numerical uh, based on join operation so in this video we are going to discuss about materialization and pipelining in query processing so we already discussed the concept of query processing we understand how query is being processed so query is being processed in these steps uh, three steps are involved in a query processing such as a parsing and translation optimization and query evaluation but in uh, suppose imagine a situation that um, particular query consists of n number of operation it is not necessary that every time only one operation is involved in one query more than one operation is involved in single query so in that case how that uh, evaluation of that query can be takes place how that uh, operation will be takes place that we are going to understand so at that time these two concepts are useful one is a materialization and second one is a pipelining materialization and pipelining helps for evaluating the operation involved in a query processing and generally materialization and pipelining concept um, comes into existence when more than one operator or operation involved in a single query so let's discuss with the concept of materialization and pipelining so what is materialization before explaining the concept of materialization first of all i will explain the example then we'll see the definition of materialization what is materialization um, for example this is a simple relational algebra query as i told you earlier that uh, materialization and uh, pipelining concept can be understand or it comes into existence when more than one operator involved in a single query suppose this is a single query which involves three operation what are the three operation join operation selection operation and projection operation so there are three operations are involved in this particular query so here you can use the concept of materialization as well as you can use the concept of pipelining so here we understand how materialization will works and how pipelining will work so in this case very first which operation is to be performed so first of all selection operation is performed on account relation whatever the output that we are getting after that join operation will be performed and uh, at the last projection operation is performed so in order to understand this uh, we have just generated a query evaluation plan so here you can see this is a query uh, evaluation plan it's a diagrammatic representation of this particular query so from this you come to know that first of all you are performing selection operation on account relation then you will perform join operation and finally you are going to perform projection operation so here what is the concept of materialization and how materialization comes into existence so what is materialization so first of all selection operation is performed on the account relation so you will get some kind of output so where that output is being stored that output is being stored in the temporary relation that temporary relation is again stored into the secondary memory again that temporary relation will come back to main memory and provide it as the input for performing a join operation for example uh, selection operation is performed on account relation you will get some output that will be stored in the uh, temporary relation t1 which is stored in the secondary memory then that temporary relation and this customer table given as a input to join operation so again you will get some kind of output again you are going to store this output in the temporary relation t2 which is again stored into the secondary memory and finally this uh, relation t2 given as a input to projection operation and finally you will get a output so in this case what you understand what is materialization so materialization is the process of storing intermediate result into a temporary relation that means when you are evaluating a query during the evaluation of a query you will get some intermediate result and you are storing that intermediate result into a temporary relation and that process is called as a materialization so this is what the definition simple definition for materialization is the process of storing output of an operator in a temporary relation for processing by next operator so in this case uh, cost is involved this is not a efficient way of executing a query this is a traditional way of executing a query materialization is a traditional approach of executing a query because uh, it is costliest operation why is it so because in this case you need to create temporary relation means reading and writing of temporary relation occurs 
so this is what a cost involved additional cost involved in this materialization concept for reading and writing of a temporary relation so it takes more time because the temporary relation is being stored in a secondary memory again we'll bring back to main memory provide it to another operation or another operator then again it will provide some intermediate result so in short you need to remember uh, when you are getting intermediate result and you are storing that intermediate result into a temporary relation then that concept is called as a materialization and materialization is not a efficient concept because in this case we are making use of a temporary relation so this is what a problem with a materialization so to overcome the problem of materialization what is problem in the materialization we need to create a temporary relation and we need to uh, read as well as perform write operation in that case so suppose we want to avoid this or we want to overcome this problem so another concept comes into existence that is a pipelining concept so pipelining concept can also be used in a evaluating the query in order to evaluate a particular query you are going to use the concept of pipelining so in pipelining what you are doing or how pipelining help us to overcome the problem of materialization so main thing is that in case of pipelining you no no need to store intermediate result into a temporary relation suppose you are not creating a temporary relation then there is no overhead of reading and writing uh, temporary relation also well uh, so that overhead is not there in case of pipelining so in case of pipelining what we are doing so here you can see another example uh, so here it involves two operation one is a projection operation and second one is a selection operation so first of all here you will perform projection operation so here you are not going to store intermediate result into a temporary relation but directly you are passing this as a output to uh sorry this as a input to outer relation so but you have to store somewhere where you are storing you are storing it in a buffer okay that is a difference in case of materialization we are creating a temporary relation which is stored in the secondary memory but in case of pipelining we are not storing intermediate result into a temporary relation but we are storing that intermediate result into a buffer and directly we are passing means instead of storing into a temporary relation we are directly passing intermediate result to next operator so in this case what we understand whatever the output produced by this projection operation directly pass as a input to selection operation so but still it need to be stored uh, temporarily so where it is being stored it is being stored in the uh, buffer so this is what a pipelining and pipelining is a advanced uh, technique uh advanced technique as compared to the materialization materialization is a traditional technique whereas pipelining treated as a advanced technique and it improve the um, query value efficiency of a query evaluation efficiency of a query evaluation can be improved in a pipelining because there is no need to perform read and write operation over the temporary relation so pipelining is used to improve the performance of a query so we will see the uh, definition it's a process of passing result of one operator to another operator directly without storing it in a temporary relation so this is what a formal definition for pipelining so pipelining eliminates the cost of reading and writing temporary relation that we have seen and uh, efficiency of a query evaluation can be improved by reducing the number of temporary file produced so in case of pipe pipelining uh, no temporary file is being produced and uh, but pipelining requires buffer and buffer is created for each pair of adjacent operation to hold tuples being passed from first operation to second one so in case of pipelining what you required you required a buffer suppose sufficient amount of buffer memory is not available then uh, there may be a problem of thrashing so thrashing problem may arise in case of a uh, pipelining but still we can say that pipelining overcome the drawbacks of materialization and uh, in case of pipelining there is no need to create a separate temporary relation so there are two types of pipelining is there that we are going to discuss so there are two types are there one is a demand driven pipelining and second one is a producer driven pipelining so we understand this demand driven and producer driven with the help of this particular diagram so demand driven pipelining is a pooling data it involves pooling a data from the operation at the top so how demand driven pipelining works so in case of demand driven pipelining Uh, this projection operation make a request to join operation uh, in order to produce the output then as a request received by this join operation this join operation will send the request to selection operation then selection operation uh, perform its 
uh, operation on this account relation uh, so it will get some uh, kind of output intermediate result so that intermediate result passes to the project uh, join operation and then join operation will provide its output as input to projection operation so this is what a demand driven we can say that demand driven is a top down approach uh, whereas producer driven is a bottom up approach why we can say that dem demand driven is a pulling because in this case uh, request is coming from top and it is floating to bottom but exactly opposite to demand driven uh, pipelining there is a concept of producer driven pipelining where this selection operation by its own uh, apply uh, selection operation on account relation uh, produces some output and that output it uh, providing as a input to join operation though this join operation is not making any kind of request but still selection operation by its own will uh, perform its operation on account relation produce some kind of output and that will be um, given as a input to join operation so here you can see here operation do not wait for request to produce the tuple but generate the tuple itself okay and each operation at the bottom of pipeline continuously generate the output and we are pushing it means uh, this selection operation pushing the rows to join and join will push to the projection operation so these are the two types of pipelining one is a demand driven and second one is a producer driven so demand driven is a pulling approach whereas producer driven is a pushing approach so these are two types of pipelining so i hope you understand the concept of materialization and pipelining so at the last we are going to summarize what are the differences between materialization and pipelining that we understand during query evaluation so very first difference is that uh, pipelining is a modern approach whereas uh, materialization is a traditional approach in case of pipelining we do not require any temporary relation whereas in materialization you always require temporary relation uh, in case of pipelining what we can say it is a efficient way of query evaluation whereas materialization it is a less efficient way uh, in case of pipelining you required a buffer memory uh, but in case of materialization no buffer memory is required so in case of pipelining you may face a problem of thrashing okay uh, when sufficient buffer memory is not available at that time you may face a problem of thrashing but that problem is not there in materialization and finally cost uh, pipelining helps to optimize the cost of query evaluation how because in case of pipelining there is no need to read and write a temporary relation but the cost of materialization is more as compared to pipelining because in this case uh, extra cost of reading and writing temporary relation is there so these are the differences between pipelining and materialization so i hope you understand how materialization and pipelining can be used during query evaluation and this query when these two concepts are useful when more than one operation involved in the query at that time this materialization and pipelining concepts comes into existence so we can say that pipelining is better as compared to materialization thank you